So in a story that you literally cannot avoid if you're on Twitter long enough, Homicide Gang has been dropped from a tour. Now, the reason they got dropped from the tour is because Homicide Bino is being accused of being a pedophile. Now, Homicide Gang is a rap group affiliated with Playboy Cardi and his opium label. And so this has been a rough week for them in general, because, of course, Playboy Cardi is now being accused of D.A. Now, he uh, allegedly chokeslammed his girlfriend after his girlfriend um, showed him a pregnancy test, um, a, a positive pregnancy test. Now, some of you guys already told me that this is fake news and that th this didn't really happen. But regardless of the fact is, this is still the second time that or at least the second time that I'm aware of that Playboy Cardi um, has been accused of putting his hands on women. Of course, the most high profile situation is with him and Iggy Azalea. Um, I don't know if it happened with Ruby Rose. But let's get back to the homicide gang thing. So I've looked at since, uh, several of these screenshots, several of these videos where he's apparently calling this girl, trying to figure out where she's at, trying to figure out if she's going to if she's going to um, pull up. Um, you can see the messages where he wants her to come backstage and she, he wants her to come by herself. But again, the only thing that I cannot get confirmed 100 percent as somebody who literally wants to take my time so that I'm reporting the right information I cannot find her age and I don't see where you guys are coming up with 16 or 17. The only thing that I can say or show is this one picture um, on this girl's page where she looks to be about 16, 17. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Selena Gomez, but until recently, Selena Gomez used to look 12 forever, bro. So that's my only thing. I'm not trying to give him a pass. I'm just trying to make sure that you guys are, if you guys really fuck with this group, that you guys are, are really spreading the correct information because you guys might cancel him on accident. Like, who's to say, who's to find out that this girl is actually of age? And then now y'all cancel him on accident because y'all spreading the false information. And this has come from somebody that is not a Homicide Gang fan. I'm not saying I, I don't like their music or anything. It's just, I, I, I don't, I, you know, it's just, it just is what it is with them. If they come across my, you know, come across my timeline or music come across as me, cool. If it don't, cool. I'm not seeking it and I'm not trying to avoid it either. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is a crazy situation. Like I said, I hope that um, these allegations are false, though, because I do understand how these labels, especially as a black man, can be damaging. Because once the world thinks you're a pedophile, you, you're not escaping it, bro. So I hope that he can prove that he's not. But so far, where there's smoke, there is fire. And because he got dropped from the tour or they got dropped from the tour, it's pretty. it might be pretty safe to say that he actually did have something crazy going on or has or showing signs of having a shady history. And at that that um tour doesn't want anything to do with him and that can be understandable too sometimes people would rather just get ahead of something and get away from it before you know they they wait it out and see what the true facts are but regardless of the fact is like i said if you guys can show me down below where this chick is 16 or can confirm that she is 16 i'm all ears to listen to it but i'll see you guys in the next video